Hi guys and welcome back to the Mighty Blues. My name is of course Cameron. Welcome back today to another video. It's going to be a little weekly news roundup extra for you and that is because we have had some breaking news over the last couple of hours. Everton's plans to develop a new stadium at Bramley Moor Docks in the north of Liverpool can proceed after Everton's planning application received government approval. Absolutely unbelievable news I'd literally just about finished streaming before talking about Dominic Calvert-Lewin talking about um, Josh King and, and James Rodriguez and all of this sort of news I literally turned the stream off went downstairs had me dinner and it was broken the news was broken that Everton have received the planning permission it is being granted by the government the Secretary of State has no issue with the planning permission and everything can go ahead for Bramley Moor Docks albeit there does need to be I think a couple of papers signed and, and legal agreements and all of that sort of stuff but that shouldn't be an issue whatsoever the big sort of worry I think or not not a big worry because I don't think we were particularly worried but the obviously the next step after Liverpool City Council approving the planning application was for the Secretary of State to grant the application and to state that they have no issues with it whatsoever and that has been confirmed today absolutely unbelievable unbelievable news mark this date down in your diary the 26th of march 2021 as a historic historic day in the history of our absolutely fantastic fantastic football club everton are about to build their third stadium and it is unbelievable unbelievable news like I said it broke earlier on today there was a couple of things we ch we chatted about in the, the weekly news roundup live stream earlier about some silly messages that have been floating about the internet over the last couple of days or so one regarding the stadium and that got people a little bit worried and like I said I don't think we were really worried I particularly wasn't because as soon as the you know Liverpool City Council granted the, the plan and permission I sort of had a feeling that the government wouldn't have any real issue with it but there was still that step it still wasn't you know <coughs> there was still some stuff to do, the government still had to look over the plans and still had to review them and obviously they asked for that extension last week to review the plans so then there was a little bit of, well why are they asking for an extension, what do they need an extension for so there they, they still has been a little bit of tension over the last couple of weeks or so as to whether or not the government will grant the planning permission but it is official, it has been granted, Everton have received uh, their planning application uh, approval and we can now go ahead and start works at Bramley Mordock, there is a couple of legal things and agreements and stuff that need to be signed but that shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. Uh, the full statement reads that Robert Jemrick, the Secretary of State for Housing, Communities and Local Governments has been reviewing the club's plans since last month. That government review, standard practice for the development of the size and scale of Everton's stadium plans was conducted after Liverpool City Council's planning committee had unanimously approved the plans on February 23rd. The club received written confirmation of the Secretary of State's approval for the plans today. The decision to approve a new 52,888 capacity waterfront arena allows the club to complete its agreed acquisition of the site from Peel LMP and the funding solution for the project, ensuring the club can begin to make the plans a reality. It is estimated that the new stadium development and plans for the Goodison Legacy will deliver a £1.3 billion boost to the economy, create more than 15,000 jobs and attract 1.4 million new visitors to the city. On such a monumentous day, the football club would like to thank every Evertonian along with the many organisations organisations, the tens of thousands of people across the city region and the team of dedicated staff who have played a vital role in ensuring the club's reached today's milestone. Absolutely unbelievable, unbelievable news. Like I said, it, it just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it, for, for Evertonians and obviously we had that meeting and we spoke about that meeting that Liverpool City Council had and the unanimous decision that they come to, to, to you know, approve the plans for the new stadium and it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. It was dead emotional. It was a couple of days after we'd beaten Liverpool at Anfield it was absolutely brilliant but there was still that bearing sort of thoughts as to right okay Liverpool City Council have approved it everybody's happy with it but it's got to go to the Secretary of State they've still got to approve it they've still got to be happy with it and of course that is now the case approval planning permission granted we can go ahead barring a couple of agreements we can go ahead and put that spade in the ground and start to make our future a reality now and look it's um it's absolutely amazing. This has been long, long, long overdue, of course, and, and, you know, ultimately we've been talking about a new stadium for the football club for the last 20 years. I can remember being a kid and they're being talking about, they're being talk about, you know, 
a new stadium for Everton Football Club. And now, you know, we, we, like I said, keep this date in mind, the 26th of March 2021, as a historic, historic day in the history of our great football club. We now look forward now. We can get on. We can put the spade in the ground. We can start to make those unbelievable pitches that we've been seeing over the internet for the last few years or so a reality and, you know, turn the, the uh, Bramley Moor docks into a, a, a monumental site and, and a new home for, for our football club. And it's going to be absolutely absolutely amazing the emotion is running far 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 and deep today um you know again like i said it's, it's unbelievable news and obviously we know how big this stadium will be for Everton as a football club in terms of playing European football in terms of obviously hopefully winning league titles there Carlo Ancelotti leading us out into the new stadium um, it's obviously massive for the city of Liverpool in itself and I think we all knew deep down that the government couldn't the, you know, they wouldn't wouldn't have been able to make a valid excuse to turn this down they, they simply wouldn't have been able to make a valid reason as to deny uh, you know the city so much income and, and, and so many opportunities that the stadium will bring and even those people with doubts, even those people with sort of um, disagreements for certain uh, situations regarding the build, I think those sort of doubts and, and maybe worries are way, 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 way... Um you know, outweighed by the positives that it's going to bring. Like I've just read there, the economy boost that it's going to be bringing millions of pounds worth into the city, over 15,000 jobs created as well. 1.5 million visitors, new visitors to the city. Obviously, the stadium will be able to host a number of different events as well as, you know, Everton games. You know, they'll be able to host concerts and stuff like that as well. So it's absolutely unbelievable, unbelievable news. And I didn't want to leave the weekend without doing a video on it. It probably only will be a short video uh, because we talked extensively about the stadium and what it bring and, and how important it is in the last live stream that we did when we talked about the Liverpool City Council uh, approving the plan and permission it literally was just another final tick in the box today from the government and we've gotten that tick now it's all systems go now it's foot on the uh, foot on the gas and go and you know make this stadium uh, a reality and, and let's hope that in the next two or three years we're all sitting there on an unbelievable waterfront stadium on the banks of the Royal Blue Mersey cheering on the Blues one thing I will say before we uh, finish up this video is um, obviously we with the news today about the new stadium and obviously it's fantastic and we're all very happy and we're all excited and it's a big 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 a positive bit of information of course unbelievable way to start our Friday off Um, it does loom in your mind that it means that we're one day closer every day that goes by we're one day closer to to leaving Goodison Park and, and I spoke um spoke before about how emotional sort of it's been recently certainly given the fact that we haven't been at Goodison Park for a, for a whole year now or at least the majority of us I know some fans were lucky enough to get to go when we played Chelsea or you know, when we played Arsenal in December when we had the 2,000 fans there, but the large majority of Evertonians that would usually be visiting Goodison Park week in, week out haven't actually been able to um, to visit for, for quite some time because obviously of, of what's going on in the world at the moment and, you know, the the, the um, longer that this goes on and, and the more and more days in which we're away from Goodison Park, you know, it's not just being away from Goodison Park, it's obviously getting closer to the new stadium as well, so what I will say is, when we're all back at Goodison Park, when we can all be there as 40 thousand Evertonians cheering on this Everton team or even when we're here when we're there as two thousand four thousand no matter how many Evertonians are there if you get the opportunity to go back to Goodison Park save it every single minute of it I know it's easier to say and I know if we turn up next year and we're being beaten six nil by Brighton we'll probably all leave in a huff absolutely fuming but I'm going to try my absolute hardest regardless of the results regardless of the performance regardless of the team I'm going to try my absolute hardest that whenever I leave that stadium Unless it's a good performance, in which I'll take it with me. If it's a bad performance, I'll leave it behind and I'll just remember that we're not going to get many more opportunities leaving this this ground because obviously, you know, the future is uh, at Bramley Moor Dock with a brand new stadium, which is fantastic and amazing and, and I absolutely can't wait and it's brilliant, brilliant news. Um, but it does mean, unfortunately, uh, you know, we can't have it both ways. We can't play at Goodison Park and Bramley Moor. We can't have the unbelievable legacy project at Goodison and the stadium to obviously um, to stay. So it is, it, it, it's sad. It really, really is sad. And it, it's going to be an emotional, emotional day. I've said it before and I'll happily say it again. You're going to have to have 
stewards, police, the army, you're going to have to have a lot of people to remove me from my seat on that final day at Goodison, because I'm not leaving, mate, I'm not getting up, I'm not walking out, I am not leaving, you will have to airlift me out of that stadium, because I physically can't bring myself to stand up and walk out that stadium, known full well, I won't be ever walking back in it, the emotion will just be far too much, I've spent my life at Goodison Park from when I was six years old, and I didn't even understand football, I didn't know what emotion was, I didn't know what love and hate and pain was, and I've gone through all of that with Everton Football Club and you might say oh you're being dramatic Cam but honest to God I don't I won't be able to walk out that stadium known full well that I can't walk back in Um, it'll be unbelievable when we get into the new stadium and it's much needed and we all know it's needed for the future of the football club and for the progression of the football club Um, but I just hope one thing really and one thing only is A we get more time at Goodison before we, we move into the new stadium than, than what we've had without it over the last year or so and B that this team lifts a trophy because I don't think I could, again, I could take moving into the new stadium, having never seen Everton lift the trophy at Goodison Park, I just, it'd just be, it'd be, um, it'd be quite emotional, put it that way, don't get me wrong, it's amazing news and we're all very, very happy and it's fantastic that the, um, you know, the planning application has been granted by the government now, obviously it was approved by the council, it's now been granted by the government, so all systems go in terms of, you know, putting the spade in the ground, as the old saying, and, and building this stadium and making it a reality now for Everton Football Club, which is amazing, but, like I said, every game now I, I visit Goodison Park for, certainly not only given that we're only two or three years away from you know um, the new stadium and, and playing in the new stadium, but also it's been a year since we've been at Goodison Park, over a year since we've been at Goodison Park, and look how quick time has, has, has flown by um, since then, so yeah, like I said, you know, unbelievable news, fantastic news, really positive news, but I think, you know, we have to sort of really, really cherish every moment we have left at Goodison now, because it's home, it always will be home, it always has been home, um, and yet, yeah, it's fantastic news that we can, you know, move into a new stadium, and that it's being granted, and, and that we'll be able to build on it, and it'll be fantastic for the future of the football club, fantastic for the city, and you know, if we're wanting to be playing in the Champions League, if we want to be fighting for titles, if we want to be fighting for Champions League, we need to be doing that in a brand new state-of-the-art stadium. Um, but like I said, it, it, it is. It's um, the 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 thought that we, we haven't got long left at Goodison Park isn't a very nice one, is it? Let's be honest. So let's just cherish every moment we have left there. Uh, and yeah, like I said, try not to leave the ground too angry if we lose. Just just forget about the result, forget about the performance, and think about the ground in itself and and how much it means to every single Evertonian. So there you go, absolutely unbelievable, unbelievable news coming out of today. Like I said, I wasn't going to do another video today in the live stream earlier on, but I thought I can't not do another video. I can't sit here and listen to that news about the new stadium and be so excited about that news about the new stadium and not do another video. It'd be it'd be criminal. It would be absolutely criminal. But there you go. You've got the breaking news. Everton's plans to develop a new stadium at Bramley Moor Docks in the north of Liverpool can proceed after the club's planning application received government approval. Unbelievable, unbelievable news. Let us know your thoughts on it in the comments section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Don't forget to check out the Football News 360 far back absolutely fantastic app keeps you up to date with all your latest ever news scores predictions all of that good stuff you can check it out in the description down below um yeah like i said free to download available on ios android apple all of that good stuff helps us out massively as well if you click the link in the description and download that app but yeah there you go brilliant brilliant news exciting news fantastic the the one you know, the one bit of news we all sort of wanted, the, the planning application being approved by Liverpool City Council was amazing, but this sort of government approval was sort of lingering over us, and now they've approved it. It's, it's all systems go for Bramley Moore. So fantastic, fantastic news. Big, big thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts on it in the comments section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave it a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. Massive, massive thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon on the Mighty Blues.